Huawei Technologies. Optics RTN 600 Radio Transmission System. Hardware Installation and Commissioning. The Optics RTN 600 Radio Transmission System Hardware Installation and Commissioning is an auxiliary teaching material describing the methods for installing and commissioning Huawei Optics RTN 600 series microwave product hardware, with photographs illustrating methods and precautions for the engineering. It is for reference only. On-site installation depends on the actual engineering implementation. This material is divided into five parts. Part 1. Engineering preparations and unpacking check. Part 2. Installing the antenna. Part 3. Installing the ODU and IF cable. Part 4. Installing the IDU. Part 5. Commissioning the equipment. Part 1. Engineering preparations and unpacking check. Chapter 1. Engineering preparations. 1. About the equipment. The Optics RTN 600 radio transmission system is a line of sight digital microwave transmission system developed by Huawei Technologies. Each radio frequency carrier of the Optics RTN 600 can transmit 4 or 8 or 16 E1 or 1 STM1. An RTN 600 microwave radio transmission system consists of three parts they are IDU. ODU and antenna. The IDU is the indoor unit of the Optics RTN 600. The IDU accesses services and performs multiplexing, demultiplexing, and IF processing of the services. The IDU is of two types, IDU 610 and IDU 620, at a height of one unit and two unit, respectively. Either IDU610 or IDU620 can be installed in a 19-inch cabinet, in an ETSI cabinet, on a wall, or on top of a table, IF cables, SDH, PDH signal cables, power cables, alarm cables, and order wire cables are all let out from the front panel of boards. The ODU is the outdoor unit of the Optics RTN600. The ODU performs frequency conversion and amplification of radio frequency signals. Antennas are used to focus the radio frequency signal transmitted from the ODU to increase the signal gain. The gain depends on the diameter of the antenna and the frequency. 2. Preparations for engineering installation. To ensure that the installation is performed smoothly, engineers should carefully read all the related documents and ensure that all the required installation tools and instruments are available. Two categories of documents are required, engineering design and installation guide. Engineering design documents include network plan and engineering design. Installation guide documents include Optics RTN 600 radio transmission system installation guide and Optics RTN 600 radio transmission system commissioning guide. The required tools are as follows. Hoisting tools include 100-meter hoisting rope, pulley, and safety belt. Drilling tools include percussion drill and accessory drill bits. Fixing tools include cross-tip screwdriver, flat-tip screwdriver, solid wrench, adjustable wrench, socket wrench, and hex key wrench. Benchwork tools include sharp nose pliers, pliers, snap-off knife and diagonal pliers, auxiliary tools, multimeter, electric iron, cable peeler, crimping pliers, crystal connector crimping pliers, soda wire, wire punch-down tool, brush, and nippers. In addition, you also need to prepare laptop, compass, GPS, 50-meter tape, measuring tape, and marker. 3. Check-in installation conditions. Before installation, engineers should check the on-site installation conditions according to the Microwave Equipment Installation Environment Checklist. The items to be checked are as follows. 1. Installation position of the IDU. 2. Indoor grounding point. 3. DC power availability. 4. Environment temperature. 5. Installation position of the antenna. 
Chapter Two: Unpacking Check. First, check the following items according to the packing labels on the packing boxes. One, the total number of goods is correct. Two, the appearance of the packing boxes is nice. Three, the delivery destination is correct. Note: During unpacking, representatives from the customer, the contractor, and Huawei must be present. Unpacking is not allowed if any of the three parties are absent. The customer may not be present if authorization is granted by the customer. The packing list is enclosed in the packing box marked with a red label. The engineering supervisor and the customer representative should check the quantity of goods, item by item, according to the packing list. The check must be thorough and complete one time, and must be finished before the installation. Check the installation-related material. Use a snap-off knife to cut the adhesive tape on the cartons. According to the packing list, check the quantity of alarm cables, fiber jumpers, power cables, grounding cables, cable ties, and adhesive waterproof tape. Fill the actual quantity of each item in the packing list. Do not just tick or write OK. Check the IDUs and boards. Check the appearance of the IDUs. Verify that the boards and installation accessories are complete. Check the hybrid couplers. According to the packing list, verify that the hybrid coupler accessories, such as tools, documents, and polarizers, are available as required. Verify that the appearance of the hybrid couplers is intact, and also verify that the frequency information of the hybrid couplers is correct according to the design documents. Check the ODUs. Check the appearance of the ODUs. Verify that the frequency information of the ODUs is correct according to the design documents. Check the antennas. Check if the appearance of the packing crates that contain antennas is nice and intact. Insert the sharp end of the flat tip screwdriver into the hole of the tongue and straighten the tongue. After straightening all the tongues on the crate cover, remove the cover. Verify that the appearance of the antenna is intact and the installation accessories are complete. Verify that the frequency information of the antennas is compliant with the design documents. Note the following points when unpacking the crates: one, do not insert the crowbar into the crate when unpacking; otherwise, you may damage the antenna inside. Two, the crate must be placed upright to avoid damaging the antenna inside. Three. Avoid any pressure against the reflective surface when moving and laying down the antenna. After the unpacking check, the engineering supervisor and the customer representative shall confirm the results by signing the packing lists. Both the parties should keep a copy of the packing lists. During unpacking, if any goods are found short in number, of the wrong type, deficient, overdelivered, or damaged, write down the packing list number and take a photo of it. The project supervisor should fill in the equipment problem report and send it to the local office of Huawei. Please pay attention to the following precautions during the engineering: one, strictly observe the ESD control specifications. Make sure that you wear a securely grounded anti-static wrist strap or a pair of gloves when you touch any metallic parts on circuit boards or equipment. Do not touch any electronic components on boards with bare hands. Two, wait for at least 30 minutes before unpacking. If the equipment has been moved from a cold and dry place to a warm and damp place, otherwise moisture that accumulates on the surface of the circuit board can damage the components.